Hello folks, Ron Lee's the Grady Guy here from Mariner Marine in beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida. We are anchored up right now at the beautiful, world famous Peanut Island, right inside the mouth of the Port of Palm Beach. We are here to show you the Grady White Canyon 306. I'm gonna give you a nice walk through here, show you the specifications, dimensions, and show you some of the features that I like. And I like to show you how I implement them in my daily boating with my family. I have grandkids. I have a big boatload full of family and fun when I go out. So for me, this boat checks a lot of boxes, gives me the ability to go to the Bahamas, gives me the abilities to take my trips to the Keys that my family loves. Um, it's just a magnificent size for South Florida, for the boating we do here. On weekends here, it is a spectacular destination. We do snorkeling on the east side and south side and boats will anchor up here on weekends all the way around the boat and literally you'll see 200 300 up to 500 boats here on a given weekend and this boat the platform it offers for day boating as well at the sandbar so you and your family can hang out as we are here for the day snorkeling picnicking on the island walking around the nature trails uh, just truly a magnificent, magnificent way to experience a Grady White is here at Peanut Island in beautiful Palm Beach, Florida. Forward, we have a integrated windlass system. Controls here, as well as at the helm. Optional filler board, which is actually rigid fiberglass, which makes a casting platform with the cushion on top, which makes a beautiful bow filler cushion. Great spot for the grandkids. Companion seat for two adults. Great spot for mom and dad if they come along. You do have cup holders integrated. Raw water, fresh water, faucets up front. Just in case you want to do a little fresh water, I use that particularly just to shower off on a hot day. These are the integrated backrests, which lock in the place and make a very comfortable chase lounge. Here at the helm, you have two captain's chairs, fully adjustable front and back. You have foldable armrests on both sides. My wife's favorite part of it are those armrests because it does make her feel safe and secure. The footrests are positioned where they actually feel very comfortable. They're not too far down. The dash does accommodate dual 16 inch screens. Fusion stereo, standard on all Grady Whites. Charging ports. In the hard top is where we usually mount the VHF radio in the electronics box. You have life jacket storage in the hard top as well. Another great feature is down below on the footrest is you have a great catch all to put all the people's shoes that get on the boat that day. And you know what I'm talking about. With all the kids, you pile all their shoes in one spot. And when you get off the boat, it's gonna be the only time you're not missing a flip-flop or a shoe. Integrated speakers for sound, refracts off the gunnels, off the console, sounds beautiful. Here I am down in the head area. And I wanna show you a couple features that I really, really like. Me being a grandfather, this is actually an incorporated area here that you can make a changing station. You do have the freshwater shower here. It pulls out, you can use it any way you'd like, but the neat part is it does have a designated area here to actually shower. I do love that feature. There's a lot of storage under here. I actually have the bow shade under here. I have shore power. There's quite a bit of storage under here. This bathroom here, you simply lift this up the valves open for the intake. This valve here is for the discharge. Now, if you're out in the ocean and you're the allotted miles offshore, this valve open, you're able to hit the empty button on this toilet switch here and it literally will discharge all the waste into the ocean. That easy. Here at the leaning post, we have a sink prep station with a freshwater shower, a 47 gallon live well, we have drawers on the side here on the port side. And in drawers, not only would you put tackle and stuff like that, I put sunscreen, chapstick, all the stuff I need for my day of boating. You do have another area where they do have tackle, designated tackle storage. 
a fire extinguisher recessed holder on the starboard side. At the transom, we do have a four-step boarding ladder. Nice walkthrough. Transom door, heavy duty. Nice heavy duty latch to close it. Also, a nice latch to keep that nice and taut when the door is open. You do have a nice walkway to go from port to starboard if you need to, to get on and off different docks. Here we have our freshwater shower. When you get out of the water, you can shower off. Right below that, you do have your flush ports for your engines. It comes with a quick disconnect. You connect it on the end of the hose, simply plug it in, flush the port motor, plug, plug in the other one, flush the starboard motor, done. It's the easiest flush system there is out there. Fresh water wash down, the 32 gallons, your fill is right there. As you can see, we have a cup holder. There are 22 rod holders on the boat, including six lockable rod, hold, rod storage on the gunnels underneath in the recessed areas. Great, great spot for us that go to the Bahamas. So nice to be able to keep your rods on the boat. Here we have the aft 304 quart fish box, which is a great place for just a massive cooler for day boating or a fish box as well. Aft bench seat folds down, of course. You have a freshwater, raw water faucet under the gunnel. But here, you can really appreciate the beam of 10 feet 7 inches on this boat. Grady White engineers their boats with fishability and comfort. And this model is just another great example. You can check out all the Grady Whites on our website, www.marinermarine.com. It's been my pleasure, Ron Lees, the Grady Guy, coming to you from Peanut Island in beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida.